This time on Documentify TV. Archaeologists uncovered a city where houses didn't have doors. Not hidden doors, not buried doors, no doorways at all. At first glance, that sounds impossible, but at one ancient site, people didn't enter their homes from the side, they entered from above. This place is called Chatalhoyuk. It's a Neolithic settlement in what is now central Turkey, dating back roughly 9,000 years. And for most of its history, this city worked very differently than anything we're used to. The houses here were built tightly together, like a honeycomb. There were no streets, no alleys between the blocks. Instead, people walked across the rooftops. The roofs were the streets. To get inside, you climbed down through an opening in the roof using a ladder. That opening also served as a smoke vent for the hearth below. So the door was also the chimney. This isn't speculation. Inside several excavated houses, archaeologists found clear physical evidence. In Building 5, preserved plaster walls show diagonal impressions where a wooden ladder once leaned for years. These ladder scars line up with the hearse positioned directly beneath roof openings. Their architecture itself tells the story. But the tightness of this city created another complication. If you have no streets, no cemeteries outside your door, where do you bury your dead? The solution was surprisingly intimate. Archaeologists discovered that the residents of Chatahoyuk buried their family members directly inside the homes, beneath the plaster platforms where people slept and worked. They found tightly flexed skeletons, sometimes dozens under a single floor. So, while the living entered from the roof and gathered around the hearth, their ancestors were literally inches beneath their feet. It suggested a concept of a home that is far more permanent and perhaps more spiritual than modern house. Which raises an obvious question. If the roofs were the streets and the floors were the cemetery, what was happening on the ground outside? The few open spaces that did exist between house clusters weren't used for walking. They were middens, refuse areas filled with ash, food waste, and organic material. Excavation data shows these piles were incredibly dense. Walking through them would have been toxic and unstable, so daily movement had to stay above. The ground level became a place for waste. The rooftops became the city. And inside those dark roof-entered rooms, they hid something else. Unlike modern cities that display art on the outside, their imagery was kept internal. Excavators have found plaster reliefs of bulls with real horns called bucarania, mounted directly into the walls. Some rooms feature elaborate murals of hunting scenes or vultures painted in red ochre. It creates a striking contrast a city that looks like a blank wall of mud brick from the outside, but holds a complex symbolic world on the inside, lit only by fire from the hearth. There is one important exception to the no doors rule in one structure. Building number three, archaeologists found evidence of a ground level opening, but interestingly, it was later deliberately sealed up. That suggests doors were physically possible, but socially or structurally rejected, and that choice appears to have been intentional. For most of its occupation, Chatalhuyuk functioned as a dense city within ground level doors. Homes were entered from the roof, movement happened above, and the architecture reflects a very different way of organizing daily life. If this surprised you, the next question is why ancient people kept rebuilding the same places? 
literally on top of each other again and again. That's it for today's video folks. See you next time right here on Documentify TV.